Join Learn with Samita as we celebrate Lisa Gorman, sustainable Australian fashion designer, at the International Women's Day celebrations organized by Kingston City Council. Pony step, which is a like this. Feel free to just bounce. I know it's a bit tricky where you are. So, Bollywood, thank you. And then fireworks time. Lisa Gorman is the founder of the eponymous fashion label Gorman. Till 2021, Lisa was the creative director of Gorman. With a strong focus on in-house textile design and artist collaboration, Gorman offers unique, colorful and fun prints on a broad range of contemporary and classic shapes. Gorman has produced more than 80 collections with local and international contemporary creators, artists and designers. Lisa was brought up in the coastal town of Warrnambool in Victoria, Australia. After graduating from St. Anne's College in Warrnambool, Lisa moved to Melbourne to study nursing. She worked part-time at Royal Melbourne Hospital for eight years. What happened was, I, I really, I was just drawn to it and I didn't think that much about it. I did my nursing, sensible career choice. And then I went off travelling around the world, lived in New York for a while, did some fantastic jobs, you know, mostly running for coffee on, um, you know, shoot sets and things like that. But that was the thing that gave, that opened my eyes um, more than anything really. Was, the acceptance in that community brought um, for being what you want to be. Gorman began her career in fashion as a retail assistant with bridal couturier Mariana Hardwick. Mariana Hardwick was um, a really well known um, bridal couturier. I saw a little sign in the window of her store and she was looking for trainees in sales. And I, I whilst in my, in my white wool nurse's dress, said registered nurse on the pocket. And within a week, I'd met Mariana and I was given a job um, as a retail trainee. And I remember saying to her at the time, she said to me, why would you want to come and do this? You know, you're a registered nurse, you've studied. Um, I was working in ICU at Royal Melbourne at the time. And she said, this is a traineeship where you will be paid the minimum award pay wage and you'll be at High Point studying retail two days a week. Why would you want to do this? And I said to her, well, it's one way that I can get into the fashion industry. In 1999, she launched Gorman with a collection labelled Less Than 12 Degrees at the now defunct Fat 52 Boutique. From retail, I went into visual merchandising, I went into design. By 2003, the label was topped across 55 boutiques in Australia and 15 in Japan. In 2004, she opened the first Gorman store in Praran in Melbourne, Australia. In 2010, she part sold the brand to fashion conglomerate Factory X to focus on her design and get assistance with running the growing business.
Lisa's visionary leadership has paved the way for groundbreaking collaborations, including the recent one with Mankaja Arts Resource Agency from Western Australia. One, you pay money and you have the rights to, um, you know, use a work or a name or some form of IP. The other, collaboration, is very much about um, working together and understanding the goals of those that you are working with. Gorman selected 10 artworks by five artists to be transformed into wearable art. The result was a modern interpretation of a traditional art form printed on unconventional fabrics like corduroy, like silk. This collection celebrates the rich heritage of indigenous art. It is a testament to government's commitment to cultural diversity and artistic expression. That you want to do, you know, sometimes you've got to chase it, sometimes it comes to you, but, you know, it's, it's not through sitting there and, and waiting for things to happen that they will happen. And, you know, it wasn't always easy. You know, stuff happened along the way. <laughs> stuff happens, but um, there's always a way forward. Through meticulous attention to ethical practices and cultural sensitivity, Gorman and Mankaja Arts have set new standards for fashion licensing, ensuring fair recognition and representation of indigenous art. too much about it, just start doing it, because if you sit and think too much about it, sometimes um, you don't want to scare yourself off. So when I was 13, I went to Target in Monable on my bike, and I bought some white sweaters, and I appliqued these little characters on the front. I was buying, I think I was buying all my materials for maybe $8, and I was selling them to the craft shop for $15, and they were selling them for $30. So that's what I did, and that's what started my business. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it's just trying things. And it doesn't matter how small it is, it doesn't matter if it's a hobby, because you never know, someday a hobby can turn into a business too. So be brave and, you know, just put it out there. friends was learned with Samita's International Women's Day video. Thank you City of Kingston. Thank you Lisa Gorman. It was an honor and pleasure listening to you. And you, my followers and subscribers, stay tuned, stay subscribed for more fashion, art and lifestyle. Spread the learn with Samita buzz among your friends, family, colleagues, neighbors, pets, just about anyone and everyone. Till next time, Samita signing off. Bye for now.